Hey, it's Yash, and in this lesson, we're going to talk about Clay's Write to Table feature, one of the most important tools for connecting tables with different types of information hierarchies in Clay. So, what does Write to Table actually do? Remember that when we run Find People from a Find Companies table, we actually automatically have a version of Write to Table running for us. And remember that in our company lookalikes lesson, we already used Write to Table once. What we'll do in this lesson is just take a deeper dive at exactly how we used Write to Table in the company lookalikes lesson and break down the pieces bit by bit. First, let's take a look at how this implicit Write to Table works across fine companies and fine people tables. You'll notice that in your fine people table, you have that lookup column that refreshes data whenever you need it from your fine companies table. That's actually as complicated as it gets from fine companies to fine people. What's harder is creating right to table on our own for custom data definitions like we did for company lookalikes. Let's dig into that next. Let's take a look back over the right to table integration we created in our company lookalikes video. Now, when we edit that source, we can see there are four key parts of the write to table integration. Part one, you have to actually choose a table to write that data to. You can choose an existing table or optionally create a brand new table whenever you want to. You would only want to choose an existing table whenever there's a table that you simply want to add more data to instead of creating an entirely new source from an existing list. Second, you're going to want to optionally create a list that you can write to your external table. This is potentially one of the most confusing things about write to table for most people because it's not clear in the product that you can use write to table without using a list. For example, if I simply wanted to write different values from columns and rows in this table to another table and mesh them, I could absolutely do that by just not adding a list and instead only using this add other data from this table option in the last option for write to table. However, that's very rarely useful to people. So instead, you will most often add a list to your second option in write to table and keep in mind that it has to be a list. You can't add a column that is not a list because then write to table will not recognize it as valid. You can tell what data types are lists and not lists in Clay by seeing whether or not they have the curly brackets with the number around them. Those curly brackets indicate that it is a data object that actually has multiple nested data objects inside of it, like so. For an example, if we look at our company lookalikes action and we look at the lookalikes list, we can then see all of the different company variables that we have the ability to extract in this third option into individual data points and components in our new table. So now if we go back to our company lookalikes action and see all the different things that we have available to us from company lookalikes, each of these individual data attributes are our new options available to create new columns in this write to table action from that company lookalikes list. Finally, as you'll probably remember, we went ahead and just added the existing source company name data from this table using that final fourth add other data from this table option at the bottom of our write to table action. Once you've configured all four of those options and what table you're sending it to, what list you're extracting from, what attributes you want from that list and the other data you want from your table, you're ready to use write to table like a pro across any of your Clay workbooks. That's everything we've got for write to table. Up next, HTTP API.